Just Daddy G was one of the most consistent YouTubers in South Africa dropping a video every week but suddenly just disappeared for 6 months and has recently surfaced again but as an inconsistent YouTuber. So this begs the question what happened to Just Daddy G who was arguably the best vlogging YouTuber in South Africa and to understand what happened we have to the back to 2019 as his disappearance was inevitable from the day he started gaining traction. Hi my name is Tommy Harris and I make documentaries like this on this channel so subscribe and like if you're interested in content like this. So it was late 2019 and just Daddy G was a student at the University of Johannesburg doing skits with his close friend at the time called That Guy and they would post those skits on Instagram and both of them started building their Instagram followers and social media presence. By the end of 2019 just Daddy G was quite popular on Instagram and at his university which makes 2019 a good year for him but 2020 would bring a whole lot more for and would be his breakout year of him being a leader in what we call reels and TikTok videos today as his short form of content began to be everywhere on Instagram and was relatable to all youth during 2020 as he was shooting at his backyard for most of the time and dropping a new video every day and even getting sponsors all throughout 2020. It was around this time he started his own YouTube channel where he would tell stories and was one of the most entertaining story time YouTubers with a unique and fun personality that made me outstanding and I was a big fan of his content but all of a sudden he disappeared at the beginning of 2021. It's important to note that just Daddy G, in his social media career, had to work hard but didn't have to try hard. What I mean by that is that just Daddy G was a consistent creator, but he didn't really have to think about the content he produced. He was carried by his natural and entertaining personality. Just Daddy G became a mentor or guru for boys who wanted to understand women, as he seemed knowledgeable and experienced when it came to females. Women also gravitated towards him because what he said about them was true or controversial, yet he was never judged due to his charming looks. However, in April 2021, his comeback to the spotlight came from an unlikely source, King Umar, in his first smash or pass video. This was a turning point not only for just Daddy G and King Umar, but also for the video that changed South African YouTube history. At this point, most young South African YouTubers were lucky to get 100,000 views on a video. The King Umar video laid the foundation for what YouTube is today in 2023 and made it possible for South African content creators to sustain themselves on YouTube. If you're interested in a video about King Umar and the role he played in South African YouTube, please comment King Umar. Just Daddy G, like many others, found himself back in the spotlight thanks to the Smash or Pass video. This time, Just Daddy G returned with serious determination, especially for YouTube. He began creating vlogs, approaching women on camera, and producing many more videos. For the first time in his life, Just Daddy G displayed versatility and started putting in more effort by offering a variety of content that was working well and brought him a lot of success. It's also worth mentioning that Just Daddy G collaborated with prominent South African YouTubers such as Ghost Luby, Thado Rampetti, and many more. This marked the birth of YouTube SA, in which Just Daddy G played a significant role alongside King Umar, Ghost Luby, Zillowizzy, Mammy Dearest, and many others. He was no longer just a regular YouTuber or content creator as he had been before. He had become one of the biggest YouTubers South Africa had ever seen and was likely at the peak of his career. Now, on YouTube or any social media platform, we often can't distinguish what's real from what's fake. What I mean by this is the beef between Just Daddy G and King Umar, which started as follows. Just Daddy G kissed a girl in King Umar's kiss or diss video. This wouldn't have been a problem, given Just Daddy G's reputation as a playboy accustomed to such behavior. However, the major issue was that Just Daddy G was in a relationship with Phoebe April and had asked King Umar not to include the part where he cheated in the video. Contrary to Just Daddy G's request, King Umar decided to post the video anyway. Shortly after the video was published, Just Daddy G and Phoebe broke up, leaving Just Daddy G devastated. At the time of the breakup, he had already introduced her as his girlfriend on his YouTube channels. This incident sparked a feud between King Umar and Just Daddy G. Both creators went back and forth on YouTube, making videos about each other, and it even escalated to a physical fight. Eventually, they resolved their differences, but their relationship was never quite the same. Despite this, they continued to collaborate and create content together. Daddy G then dated Kia, who, out of all his YouTube girlfriends, was the most entertaining and had the best personality. She was the only one who challenged Daddy G, avoiding clinginess and maintaining a certain attitude that was both entertaining and genuine.
Their relationship appeared to be the most authentic we've seen on YouTube. During this time, Daddy G was best friends with Lebo Rampetti and Zillowizzi, who, again, portrayed themselves genuinely on camera, showcasing a real friendship that endures to this day. Notably, amidst the sea of fake and scripted content, Daddy G brought refreshing, genuine content to our screens. Additionally, Daddy G's popularity received a boost from Thado Rampetti's trending reality show on YouTube in South Africa. It's crucial to acknowledge that Daddy G was also gaining traction on TikTok and securing numerous sponsorships from major companies. The year 2023 began with just Daddy G disappearing from YouTube shortly after reaching 100,000 subscribers on his two channels. In a video celebrating this milestone, just Daddy G mentioned that he does YouTube for fun and because he needs the money, emphasizing that it's not his passion. This might explain why, in 2023, just Daddy G has posted fewer than five videos on YouTube. He expressed the feeling that his YouTube videos lacked quality and seemed mediocre. In this state, he didn't believe he was in the right mindset to create content. For just Daddy G, whose engaging personality is crucial for producing good YouTube videos, it's disheartening that he no longer feels like the content creator we once loved watching. With sponsors offering more lucrative deals than YouTube ever did, Just Daddy G no longer feels the need to create YouTube videos. Originally motivated by money, he has now quit making YouTube videos and returned to producing short-form content that initially gained him popularity in early 2019. With Just Daddy G, he has come full circle, and I believe he is now doing what he enjoys the most and what he has always wanted since the first day he picked up a camera, making money with short-form content. My name is Tommy Harris, and please subscribe to my channel as I make videos like this weekly.